All right, in today's video, I'm just gonna talk about something that needs to be addressed that I see virtually nobody else talking about for some reason. It's actually pretty mind blowing to me. So this is not gonna be a demonstration video or a tutorial. This is gonna be addressing the cold hard truths about jazz and how long it actually takes to be good and some of the misconceptions about that. So the cold hard truth is jazz takes a really, really long time. Generally just a lot longer than you think it should take or want it to take, much longer. So I hope to bring some clarity to that in this video. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. I'm just gonna be straight up with you. I try to be genuine and straight up and generally be more direct and real about these things. So if you play the piano, whether it's classical or pop or whatever, any piano, but especially jazz, I see so many people online, post online, like on say Reddit or YouTube, and even my own students, like my private students in my lessons, will say, why am I not getting better? And this is such a common phenomenon, especially if you're in your first five or 10 years of learning piano or playing an instrument, super common. So, Jazz takes a really long time to get good at. And I would know because I came from a classical background. I had been playing piano since I was seven years old through most of high school. Well, I actually played a lot of guitar in high school, but I entered college as a classical performance piano major. And about halfway through, I discovered jazz and fell in love with that and pretty much never looked back. I didn't start playing jazz till I was 22, I think. And uh, 15 years later, here we are, right? So after my first year of jazz piano lessons with my first jazz piano teacher, super frustrated, overwhelmed, burnt out, I came to him after the semester ended and I said, why the hell am I not getting better? You know, what's going on with there? I can play all these technical classical pieces, Chopin etudes, Beethoven sonatas, Ravel, Debussy, Schumann, Mendelssohn, you name it. But I couldn't play jazz to save my life. So he said something that I'll never forget, and I'm gonna tell you right now, just straight up, no beating around the bush, no sugarcoating. So he said, and I quote, you will suck for a long time, and then eventually you get better. And you know what? He was 100% right. Truer words have never been spoken. But he didn't say how long it would take. He didn't put a number on it. And I can tell you right now, it took way longer than I ever thought it would. Much longer than I ever would have thought. So if you're in your first five years of studying jazz or jazz piano, those are going to be by far the hardest years for sure. Even my first jazz teacher, who is a great player, said it wasn't until about year five of his own journey when he actually started to really have a better and deeper understanding of jazz and like what's really going on with it. There's also a Pat Metheny interview, the great jazz guitarist. It's probably on YouTube. I'm sure it's on YouTube. Everything is these days. And somebody in the audience asked him, how long does it take to become a good jazz musician? And he said, if you do everything right and you're very serious and you study and you play and you work hard and you do everything you're supposed to do, he said eight to 10 years minimum. I know that sounds crazy, but I would 1000% agree with that. I tell my students all the time, learning an instrument, piano, especially jazz or jazz piano, is exactly like how a tree grows. And what do I mean by that? Well, think about it. If you plant a tree and you sit there and you watch it every single day, you're not gonna notice the progress at all. Even if it's been months, it, you're really not gonna notice the progress. Now, if it's been a year or two and you come back, you might notice like, oh, it's minimal, like really minimal progress, like barely noticeable. Now, if you came back in say five years, you'll notice some progress for sure. Not a whole lot, but like 
a good amount. Definitely more than when it started, of course. But if you came back in, say, 10, 15, 20 years, that's when you really notice the progress. So we don't really notice our own progress, or students don't, because we are the tree sitting with ourselves, watching ourselves grow every day. You're not going to notice the progress at all. So I recommend you record yourself so you can just reference it two, three, five, ten years down the line, and then you'll notice actual progress. So how do we address these things? Like, what are some of the mindsets to have about getting better at jazz and how long that's going to take? So here's some tips and advice from my own journey that I hope helps you. First thing is, you absolutely have to go at your own pace. You can't be worried about how you stack up against other people or comparing yourself to other people. You just have to put your head down and work hard. And however long it takes is how long it's going to take. You can't rush the process. Even if you're practicing a lot, like consistently, two to three hours a day, that's still going to take time. Even if you're going to jam sessions, you're taking lessons, you're studying, you're practicing, you're working hard, you're transcribing, all those things, it's still going to take time. The second thing is you definitely want to be as consistent as possible with your practice. It's better to practice 20 minutes a day than it is to practice an hour and a half or two hours every few days. When you're practicing an instrument and learning and studying music, it's all about consistency. Next thing is you want to be very selective about what you practice. You want to practice things that motivate and inspire you the most. Things that when you listen to a recording, you're like, I have to have that in my playing. I, I have to have that no matter what, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to get it. Those are the kind of things you want to practice. So I highly recommend you download my free practice structuring guide. There's a link in the description below. You will list your goals for the next year and the next five years and beyond. You want to get very specific and clear on what you want to practice. If you're trying to be the jack of all trades jazz musician or jazz pianist, you have to realize that is an absolutely massive undertaking. You also have to realize, even if you're not, that you will never be able to practice absolutely everything there is in jazz. That's just straight up impossible. Like You're never going to be able to be sounding just like McCoy, Oscar Peterson, Bill Evans, Bud Powell, Cedar Walton, Brad Meldow, Emmett Cohen, all these people, like, that's just impossible. It's more than a lifetime of study. It's probably more than two or three lifetimes of study. So you want to get really specific about what you want to be good at. Do you want to be good at bebop, blues, modal playing, pentatonics, playing in a group, solo piano, left-hand techniques, Two-handed comping, accompanying singers, all of the above. These are the things you have to think about, about what you want to get good at. So once you decide what you want to get good at, what techniques or styles, you have to be selective about what you actually practice. Because as you probably already know, or if you're new to jazz, you're about to find out that it's a double-edged sword, more like a quadruple-edged sword, because... There's just so many things to practice. It's super easy to get overwhelmed, to get burnt out from working on too many things. You get option paralysis from studying and practicing too many things. So when you're practicing, have your list of stuff that you want to get good at, like all your goals, and then just pick a couple things that you spend some time on, like some serious time. And I'm talking more than just like a week or two. Anyways, just know that jazz takes time. People dedicate decades of their lives to the craft. It's a very long-term process and long-term investment. It takes a shit ton of practice and work. Anybody who is good at jazz or is good at jazz piano has worked their asses off. Yes, some people are naturally better at it than others, just like any other skill. Just like some people learn at faster rates than others or some people are more athletic than others. Just like anything else, it's the same thing with this. I've been playing jazz for about 15 years now, 
dedicated most of my adult life to it. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. I can tell you that straight up. And most people will tell you if you play jazz piano, it's very, very difficult. It's really hard, super hard, super challenging, but it's super rewarding. And if you just give it time and you keep going, it will one day all just sort of happen for you. I really, it's really hard to explain, but it just sort of all came together. All the things that were super hard for a while just became a lot easier. And now they seem like the basics to me. So it can happen for you. You just have to be determined. You really have to want it and you have to just accept and be okay with that. Yeah, it's going to take some time. So I hope you found this video useful. If so, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. There will be much more content like this coming up, talking about mindsets, how to deal with frustration, how to deal with overwhelm, how to deal with burnout, all these things that I see pretty much nobody talking about for some reason. So best of luck in your journey. I wish you all the success and stay tuned for more videos and I will see you in the next one.